Uh, I'm Colleen Hernandez, and I'm the Associate Director of Faith Ministry. Um, so Faith Ministry altogether runs over 10 programs, and we have three churches where we serve the community through worship. We serve through housing. We provide houses for families. We provide community wellness, so we have a medical clinic, we have a children's nutrition program. And starting in March of 2020, we started our grocery package program as an immediate response to the pandemic. And finally, spiritual growth um, through our churches. We hope to uh, provide an avenue for people to grow in their own relationships with Christ. And everything that we focus on at Faith Ministry, whether it's building a house, whether it's providing a grocery packages, we always point them back to why we're doing it. And it's thank you, God, for this amazing blessing in my life. Um, and so I think that's hopefully what we hope the families take away from their experience with us. Well, there's a lot of need in, uh, you know, physical need. There's, there's a lot. Housing, for instance, uh, food. There's now the doctors and medication. But it's very hard to tell them God loves you when they don't have anything. And they, they always look at you a little funny because they they don't see the love of God in their life. So when we work with them, we try to help them so we can show them. Instead of telling them that God loves them, we show them that God loves them in so many ways. This lady came and wanted to talk to me, and I've never seen somebody so sad. She was asking for a house. Why do you need the house? And I was not ready for the answer because she told me, I need the house because I'm dying. I have stomach cancer. I have three kids, and my kids are going to be thrown out in the street because I have nothing for them. So I need the house right now. And I told her, well, there, there's no other team coming. At, at the beginning of my talk with her, I told her that we have a mighty God, that we have a beautiful God, that we have a strong God. And I'm thinking to myself, David, you're in your big mouth, right? Because God is going to have to perform something. And it was so nervous about that. Next thing you have is a team calling me saying, we're building two houses that year. We begin working with her in the program. We build her a house. We put the three kids in the scholarship program. She was the first lady that got baptized in our Presbyterian church in Miguel Aleman, and she passed away with a big smile in her face. From seeing that sadness in her life, from seeing that smile, it's just beautiful. And, and that's what we try to do every, every step of the way. We're meant to be out and going, preaching and teaching and sharing the love of God with the people. That's what we call to do.